Hello everyone, this is Manish and in today's video I am going to discuss about how we can use the Azure AD group with bulk operations. So bulk operation is a feature on in which you can add the multiple users to a group. Just think about, about an example that you have to add hundreds and, and thousands of members into a group. It could be device, it could be users. Then how you are going to do that? So manually adding to the group is not a feasible solution. So Microsoft provides a bulk operation feature which allows us to use a template file in CSV format. So simply upload the devices or users over there can be created. So when we are adding the devices, just we need to keep in mind that device is not supported. We can only add the object ID. So what we need to do is to find the object ID of the device and then we have to put into CSV file. So I will be telling you that how to fetch the information of object ID manually and through a PowerShell script also through which it's, it becomes uh, very easy for us to upload the things. Let's begin. Let's log on to the Azure portal. In Azure portal, go to Azure Active Directory and then Groups. Here I'm going to click on New Group. Provide the name. And I'm going to use the membership type as assigned. Assigned is the only option where we can I can select to use this feature. I cannot go with the dynamic user or dynamic device because that is something which provide you the, the dynamic creation of group. So click on assign and click on create. So my group has been created bulk operation test. Let's click on the group, go to members. And in the members, you can see the bulk operation feature is here. Click over here and click on import members. So here you can see that uh, it's asking to download the CSV template. Uh, if I click on download, I will be having a template downloaded. Let's see what exactly there is there inside. So you can see this CSV file consists of three rows. So these first two rows version v1.0 and member object ID is mandate. We should not be removing that. The third one is something which is related to the object ID. So rather than providing the device ID, what we have to do is we will be providing the object ID of the device. So how can we do, do that? Let's see. So in Azure portal, I'm just opening another portal. In Azure Active Directory, let's select one of the device. Okay, I'm just randomly selecting any device. If I click on this device, under properties, I can see there is a device ID and object ID. So simply I need to select, I have to copy this object ID. I'm just clicking on copy to clipboard. I'm just pasting this information over here. That's it. It's done. So I'm ready to upload the CSV file. If I click on the file, I'm going to select the group import member template CSV file, which I just recently updated. Just click on submit, file upload, successfully in progress. It will take a couple of seconds. Let's wait. Done. So I got the success. Let's refresh. So after refreshing, I can see the device has been listed. I'm just deleting it temporarily because now I'm going to cover up another scenario. Now think about that you have uh, hundreds of devices or thousand devices. There is a request that you have to add 500 devices to this group. Then how are you going to get the object ID? It's not a feasible solution to look for the object ID for each and every device going searching for the device and copying and pasting the object ID to that place to, to the CSV file. So there is another approach. Uh, one of the approaches, one of the approaches go to the devices. Here we are going to, to export the list of all the devices which will help us to get the object ID. Click on download devices and it is going to create a file, a CSV file with the name export device. So file has been downloaded, file is ready and click here to download. So let me open the file. And I can see the list of all devices 
listed over here and I, I am interested for the object ID. So by using the filter option I can simply go and fetch the information of the object IDs and for the device, the relevant device which I am looking after, I am looking for. So I am opening uh, uh, the template file which was created previously. So here what I can do is simply just copy paste few of the object IDs from here, control C and paste it over here, control V. That's it. So I can see I have copied four, five, five devices, object ID of five devices. Click on save. I am done. So if I go to the group again, bulk operation test, this was the group which I created previously. Click on members, bulk operations and clicking on import members. I'm just going to select that CSV file, which I just recently updated. Yes, file uploaded successfully. Click on submit. Wait for a couple of seconds. And here you go, you go. That file has been submitted. And after refreshing the page, I can see the, list, the devices has been listed into the group. So it was pretty much very st straightforward process. Now there is a third process through which we, where we can use a script because here also I, what I actually I did is that I downloaded the CSV file for all the devices. Think about if there are 50, 60,000 devices in your Azure Active Directory devices, then also it's not feasible. If you have, a, you have to add 100 devices, then I would say a CSV file or text file will be much more appropriate solution so that we can fetch the information, the device name from that device or from the list of devices and can get the object ID. And at the same time, we can create a script which will not only fetch the object ID, but will it will create a CSV file, the format uh, provided by the Microsoft, it is going to create the same format and you will be able to see the all object IDs over there. So I will be providing the description of that script into this video. And let me show you that how that script works. Okay, so here is my uh, script, get object ID. And I have a text file, computers. So if I open over here, I have for the testing, I have copied three devices, the information of three devices over here. This is my, I have opened the PowerShell. So the very first thing is I have to install the uh, Azure AD model. If you haven't done that, you have to do it for the first time. Install model Azure AD. Once Azure AD model is installed, you need to connect to the Azure AD model. So you have to do connect dash Azure AD. Provide the credentials. Okay, I am now connected to Azure AD. So I just need to run the script. Get object ID. So it search for all three devices and the object ID is ready. So actually I have created a very simple script. Uh, just for the sake of uh, the example, I exported the four CSV file, but the one which you will be looking uh, for is uh, CSV template to upload. So if I open this file, this is the CSV template which got created automatically because of the script which I ran. You can see the object ID for all three devices along with the first two lines which is required for the Microsoft to upload the CSV file. That's it. So my script is ready. Oh, sorry, my CSV file is ready, which can be now easily be imported using the bulk operation feature. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much. I will be coming up with more videos like this. Thank you.